Hi, I'm Robin Fowler, Senior Sleep Therapist at Sleep Clinic Services. I'd like to ask you a couple of questions. Are you waking tired and unrefreshed in the morning even though you've been in bed for the last six to eight hours? Are you feeling sleepy and lethargic during your day and at work? Have you ever experienced a strong urge to smother your partner's face with your pillow because their snoring is driving you crazy? Well, if so, they or you may be suffering with a common condition known as sleep disorder breathing. Sleep disorder breathing affects one in three adults and can display as either snoring or to the more severe condition known as sleep apnea. The three contributing factors to sleep apnea are age, weight and upper airway structure. When an SDB sufferer sleeps, the tongue, soft palate, uvula and pharyngeal walls become relaxed and can collapse into your airway. When you inhale or exhale, your breath vibrates over the back of your throat causing the sound that we know as snoring or hypopnea, a clear indication that the airway is being impaired. This puts strain on your body, reducing the quality of your sleep. After a hypopnic event, many people experience what is known as an obstructive apneic event or full closure. That is a complete collapse of the airway resulting in no oxygen entering the body at all. When a full closure occurs, your body's nervous system wakes you briefly in order to resume breathing, disrupting your body's natural healing process. These wakenings are usually so brief, the person has no awareness that they've even woken. That's why SDB sufferers often wake feeling so tired, because they haven't had any deep, solid sleep, but hundreds of short naps instead. If you've ever wondered what sleep apnea looks like, take a look at this. This footage shows a man having an apneic event. He is not breathing. His central nervous system triggers a microarousal to continue breathing. His blood reoxygenates and he falls back to sleep. His upper airway collapses in another apneic event and he stops breathing again. Try holding your breath for the duration of his apnea to get a sense of how your body starts to react. Note how his chest is rising and falling as he tries to draw breath, but his collapsed airway is preventing this. His sleep study results show that his heart stops beating for 10 seconds. Keep holding your breath. Nervous system triggers another microarousal. He gasps for breath to reoxygenate and falls back to sleep and the cycle continues all night. Sleep apnea has also been linked to other serious health consequences such as hypertension, type 2 diabetes, heart disease and stroke. If you suspect that you or someone you know may suffer from a sleep disorder breathing condition, here's your chance to have a free one-on-one -on -one preliminary sleep assessment done by one of our friendly sleep therapists. Simply visit our website at www.sleepclinicservices.com, then click the sleep self-assessment link found on our homepage. Answer all of the questions as accurately as possible. Don't worry, our questionnaire will calculate your details for you then click submit and you're done. Once received, I'll assess your sleep data, then contact you by phone to explain your results and answer any concerns or questions you may have. Please understand this is not a diagnostic sleep study and it doesn't replace the need to have one done, but it will identify whether you really do need a sleep study. You'll also receive a free info pack to help you better understand and to treat your SDB condition. As well as a free subscription to our monthly newsletter keeping you fully informed of the latest in sleep science technology, great offers, health tips, book reviews, recipes and more. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter or Google+, visit our website. Don't put it off any longer. SDB should be treated, not tolerated. Your health, family and friends will thank you for it. Contact us now.